All right, so let's do some differentials. Let's use differentials to approximate values. So here's a problem. Let's approximate the cube root of 25 using differentials. Well, it sure is a good thing we want to approximate it using differentials because, wow, what an ugly number the cube root of 25 is. It's, it's certainly not clean. It's going to be a big, ugly, long, uh, unattractive decimal. So differentials is a great way to approach this using differentials. So calculus, unlike uh, any other type of lower math, is going to allow us to very, very easily get a value that's really, really close to the cube root of 25. However, just like with Newton's method, you have to remember that when you're using a differential, it's only an approximation. It's not equal to, it's only sort of equal to. It's only really close to being equal to. So, here is the equation that we use to approximate things using differentials. It is that f of x is approximately equal to f prime of a, x minus a, plus f of a. Now, okay, x, a, what, what do we get all that from? Well, here's the thing. Our a, in this case, is going to be a number that is really easy to take the cube root of, and our x is simply what we have underneath the radical sign. So let's go ahead and write this function as if we don't have anything underneath the radical sign, because it'll make it easier later when we're taking prime. So f of x equals radical 3x, so the cube root of x. So our a value is going to be something that is easy to take the cube root of. Our x value is just 25. So what's something that's really easy to take the cube root of that is close to 25? Well, 27 sounds pretty good because the cube root of 27 is just 3. So let's say a equals 27. I think that's going to be a really good value for us. So let's start plugging things into our equation. We have our x, we have our a, and we have f of x. We're going to need to take f prime of x, so let's go ahead and do that first. If f of x is radical 3x, or the cube root of x, then f prime of x equals cube root of x prime. So how do we take the cube root of x prime? Well, we're just going to, this is the same thing as, the cube root of x is the same thing as x raised to the one-third power. So now let's just use the power rule and let's take this down. One, this prime equals one-third x to the, what is going to let us equal one, to the negative two-thirds. So this is f prime of x. All right, so now we have all of those values. Let's start plugging things in. So, f of x is approximately equal to f prime of a. All right, so here's our original equation. So, one-third of a to the negative two-thirds times x minus a. So, we'll have x minus a plus f of a, which is f, it's f of x right here, we're just going to pretend like this is a, we'll put in our a, we'll put in 27. So, the cube root of a. This is a, this is x, this is a, this is a. So, our a is 27, we put 27 here, our x is 25, we have 27 here again because it's our a, 27. We have another 27 here because we have A here as well, so 27. Now we're just doing simple math. Let's break this down some more. F of X is roughly equal to one-third of 27 raised to the two-thirds. All right, let's just leave that where it is for the time being. Raised to the negative two-thirds, I apologize. 25 minus 27, negative 2, plus... The cube root of 27, we just said that was 3, right? So, not a big deal. Our next step, let's break this down a little bit more. And if we have 1 third times 27 raised to the negative 2 thirds times negative 2 plus 3, that should give us 127. This should be 79 over 27. So, f of x is approximately equal to 79 over 27. Now, not hard, but 79 over 27 is still kind of ugly, so let's do a decimal approximation. And 
And seventy nine over twenty seven should be around. Okay, let's see. Two point nine two five nine something something something. All right. So this is a value that is really really close to the cube root of twenty five. Once again, it is only an approximation because we're using differentials. We can't get we can't get perfectly accurate. So to recap really quickly, what did we do? We wanted to approximate a terrible value, the cube root of 25, a very ugly number, so we use differentials because calculus lets us get really close without a whole bunch of guesswork. We plugged it into this formula, f of x is roughly equal to, or approximately equal to, f prime of a, x minus a, plus f of a, with our a being 27, because that's a number that it's easy to take the cube root of, our x is 25, because that's what was already underneath the radical sign, we took f of x, we took f prime of x, we got that the derivative is one-third x to the negative two-thirds, we plugged everything into our equation, and we came out that f of x is roughly equal to 79 over 27, a decimal approximation of which is 2.9259, and a lot of numbers. So there you have it, a very simple problem using differentials to approximate a value.